Hey guys, I'm back for part two of this totally awesome haul that it's supposed to be Christmas stuff, but I showed you. Oh, there's only three items for me. Because they were all cute, adorable foxes. But anyway, I digress. Okay. All right, I'll lie. Just one more item here. So I love Michaels. Well, actually, this is sort of for me, sort of for my friend. Anyway, Michaels, as you guys know, I love to craft and um, I, I'm an artist, so I'm always working on something at some point or another. So, um, I had a 50% off coupon for Michaels, and I had, oh, well, and I got another coupon from them for 50% off, which is awesome! But, I also had like a little bit on a gift card too that I wanted to use up, so... I went in there and I looked through. They got some gorgeous holiday stuff this year, guys. It's so beautiful, some of the stuff they have this year. And I'm a sucker for it. So I'm looking through and I'm like, I really want to use this coupon on something that we kind of, I want to, you know, I, I'm either going to need or we'll need in the future and, you know, save some money on it. So now, like I said, my friend is getting married and we're talking about her centerpieces right now. And plus, I've seen some really cute do-it-yourselves with these. And they do tend to be expensive. So I found these and I ended up, after my 50% off and the little bit left on my gift card, I paid $8 for these. These are submergible LED lights. So you put these in like centerpieces that have water in them, like for flowers or whatnot, and it just illuminates them and they're pretty. Now I just got the regular ones. They did have ones that color change and stuff like that, but you got less, you only got nine of those for the same price. There's 12 in here and I believe um, that's almost enough to cover all of her tables for the wedding. I think I may need another pack, but I got another $50 coup 50 off coupon, so we may do that. I'm going to ask her what she feels, but I figured, like, I wanted to do do-yourselves with these anyway, but we're working on her um, centerpieces right now, and uh, I remember her talking about these, and I told her, let me know if you want to begin, but I got them anyway. So, sort of for me, sort of not. I will talk to her about that this weekend. Next weekend. Somewhere in there. Anyway, the one item that I got her, she loves, um, we both love nautical themed things and the ocean. And if I could live on a beach for the rest of my life, it would be my happy place more than you will ever know. But anyway, she got me like last year or the year before a really pretty flask. I use it more for decoration with the green fairy and it says absinthe on it. It's absolutely beautiful and very old timey looking, which I love. So not intentionally did I buy this, but when I saw it, I immediately thought of her and I was like, oh my God, that is gorgeous. So I found this at Spencer's. It comes with the little spout to fill it, the funnel. And I love how it's got an anchor on top here. It's so cool. And it's got like the Kraken attacking a ship because she likes octopus and the Kraken. Um, she's got a few Kraken things and this is too cool. Oh my goodness. When I saw that, I was like, I have to get it for her and it's really cute. It's going to be hard not to keep it for myself. Not that I use flasks, but oh, it's so cute. I love the fact the Kraken and the anchor. The anchor is pretty much what sold me is like mine. Got to get it. So that is going to be a gift for the best friend. So then, like I said, last but certainly not least, I went to Bath and Body Works, which you saw in my other video earlier and experience with the pack backs. But I also had to do some shopping while I was there as well. So they had to buy three, get three free. And they have all of the amazing scents out right now. Twisted Peppermint is back out, guys. Amazing. So um they had to buy three get three free and then i had a coupon you had to spend ten dollars to get a signature collection item so the signature collection item that i got was this twisted peppermint um, body cream my mother loves the body creams i do too i do like them um but i have like three right now that i need to work myself through before i can even think about purchasing myself another one so this is going to be part of my mother's gift because she does love the twisted peppermint and she loves the the body cream. I've, anybody who's around me, I get them hooked on Twisted Peppermint. So if you hang around along me long enough, you'll be bathing in this. So I got that from my mom. We're doing Secret Santa at work and I got my, the girl that is like closest to me in the office, um, I got her hooked on the Twisted Peppermint as well. I actually gave her a, a, bot, a bottle of one of the body sprays that I had because she was just like loving it so much. So 
Oh, and I had a $10 off if you spend 30. So I got literally everything in here for like 20 bucks. There's the, there's the receipt. How much did I pay for everything? Okay, so total was 30 bucks for everything. And that includes the free item. I mean, let me see here. On the $10 off. Well, it would have been more. All right. $30, yeah, because they are... Thirty, twenty-four, thirty-six. Yeah, that's right. I just want to make sure. So I got her a twisted peppermint body gel and a lotion for her. I may give her two of the lotions. I haven't decided yet. I gotta do the math on how much it costs because we had like a money limit. I don't want to go over that limit. So, or I might just do these two and a couple other little things. I had to figure that out. But at least two are going to her. And then for like the other people in the some other people that I'm friends with in the office, I'm going to take um like a lotion bottle with a little chapstick and put it in a mug, like a Christmassy mug, and just tie it all up and make it look pretty. So I bought two more lotions of the twisted peppermint. Like majority of the stuff is in here is twisted peppermint. One, two, three, four. Like five of the items are twisted peppermint. This stuff is amazing guys it's creamy and delicious and oh my god so good oh, i could sit here and smell this all day mm -mm -mm -mm. It's so good then like i said there's two more in here for other friends i got vanilla bean noel which i'm not a vanilla fan typically but vanilla bean noel has got this warmth and musk to it that adds um dimension to it and i've I really do like it. It's got, it's not just regular vanilla. It's got this creamy warmth to it that makes it a little bit more complex than just a traditional vanilla lotion, which is what I like about it. And then this guy, I don't recall. I don't know if this is a new one or not, guys, so correct me if I'm wrong on this. But this one intrigued me. This is gingerbread latte. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I remember a few years ago when they had like the fun like i don't remember the name of the collection but they had like a cinnabon scented lotion and it came in like a big fat round container it was like different than these um back then they had it was before this style came out it was like the curvature bottles and then they had this other collection i think it's called the sweet shops or something like that and they had a cinnabon one that was absolutely amazing it's gotta be like eight years ago like when i saw that one it was amazing but this guy smelled similar to that one This smells almost just like Cinnabon. It's delicious. You can smell the icing. You can smell the creaminess. Oh, very, very good. I can see people who like vanilla being a well liking this one. But if you like the latte scents or anything creamy, um, this is really nice. Santa's gingerbread, frosted pear, brown sugar, vanilla latte, and whipped cream. So it's got similar notes, but um, really good. And like how it says, um, established since 1990 on the bottle right there. It doesn't feel that long though, does it? Oh, but I love the stuff. I remember the early days. Juniper Breeze and all that fun fun. And there is a coupon in here. Another $10 off when you spend 30. And they are really heavily promoting Magic in the Air. Now, my thoughts on Magic in the Air. I will give. Whether you ask or not, I give. Um, I like the smell. It is very nice. However, it's too similar to me to A Thousand Wishes and Pink Chiffon. Those kind of scents. It's kind of in the same family. Not that that's bad, but to me, it didn't have wow factor. It just smells like a generic Bath & Body Works lotion. Um... And I know some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, there's a specific scent to Bath & Body Works. And Magic in the Air is one of those. It smells like Paris Amour and 
thousand wishes and all those other scents that they all have an ingredient in them that make them smell extremely similar there may only be like one thing in there that's slightly different but while you're in the store it smells just like the rest of them when i picked it up and i smelled it because the girls were all excited that this new scent is out which you know obviously if i was working there too i'd be excited about it and then you want to promote and show it to your customers whenever you have a new product um you know i worked in retail and many different um what's the word i'm looking for i've worked in all kinds of different um work environments and stuff like that where you had to promote objects and um promote products and stuff like that and so yeah you do get excited when something new comes out that you're proud of and you can't wait to show people and um so I, I was obviously excited too because the packaging is super cute and you know magic in the air it's such a pretty name they're really good at coming out with sensual names that make you like oh i'm wearing magic in the air and stuff like that you know which one i haven't seen in a while now that i'm thinking about it and i'm like i've been over for a while was twilight woods i haven't seen that in the store in a while now that i'm thinking about it but i know that was very popular for for a minute but um yeah this to me it's not bad don't don't think i'm hating i mean look the the packaging is gorgeous i love the name very very cute but again to me it's just generic bath and body works it just smells and i'm not saying that's bad because i do like um pink chiffon the body mist i, I learned that i don't like the scent in the lotion i do like thousand wishes um, i gotta be in the mood for it but I kind of miss like the Juniper Breeze that was extremely distinct or um, Coconut Verbatim. Anything Coconut I noticed doesn't last very long um, with Bath and Body Works. Be and it was a very distinct smell, a very nice, um, you had that beautiful coconut with that lime creamy scent. It was just really nice. I really miss the Paris collection. Sweet on Paris was amazing. Um, the drink collection, I forget the name of it, but I loved Vanilla Teeny. Very, very nice. Like those scents to me, they stand out. And this one doesn't stand out to me. If it stands out for you, you know, that's awesome. But this was just one of those ones where it's just kind of the similar. I mean, like they, they're staying with something because they want people to buy it because they don't, you know, I get it. But I wish that they would like maybe break out a little bit. I would love to see them do like for the holidays, maybe like, um, because they did it with like the peppermint and stuff like that. Um, maybe like a an evergreen or like something almost masculine. Is that, if does that sound weird? Maybe it does. Um, kind of like the mahogany teak wood, just something a little bit more masculine smelling would be awesome. Now I know they had the men's lines, but I would love to see something like that in the female lines as well or a unisex thing um what else could be done i would love to see maybe more f of a rose scent like true rose not the old lady kind of antique rose i would love to see a f beautiful delicate rose scent done that is genuine rose or maybe like a lilac scent they really don't seem to do those types of true floral scents it smells flowery, but you really can't place your finger on it, typically. Uh, I think the last one was the... Um, I want to say it's the Sunflower one. There's a Sunflower one. They do Lavender. Which the Lavenders aren't bad. Um, I think the Italian Lavender was better than the Honey Lavender, but that's my personal preference. I would love to see them do... Um, like a lilac lotion or a very nice light rose scented one something along those lines just something different than what they tend to do like with thousand wishes and pink chiffon a magic in the air and there's another one i forget the name of it but it's around the same is it called beautiful or be beautiful something like that they all kind of they're kind of all the same they kind of blend together i can't even remember their names because they're all the same but um that's just my personal opinion anyway Comment down below your thoughts on the new scent. Um, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I'm just curious to see um, other people's thoughts on this. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will be filming an outfit later because um, I don't think you've ever seen me actually wear this as an outfit. I have a black one that I've worn. It wasn't um, Actually, I don't think that video really got 
People didn't really like that one that much, but that's okay. Um, and I got those toys that I've been wanting to show you guys. So I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.